LTX is pretty fast, but also pretty experimental. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how you can use LTX video generation right on your computer. It is pretty fast. On my 4080 Ti, I can run 90 frames in 20 seconds. So that is already pretty cool. Today, I want to focus on how to use image to video generation, but you can also do text to video and video to video, which is pretty cool. Now, the thing here is, this model has ways to go. It's a little bit unstable. You have to do a lot of experimentation, but with the shorter render time, that is still pretty good. And also, I want to talk about something else real quick. I feel like I'm getting too critical about what to put on my channel because I think a lot of stuff is not nice enough. And I kind of like thought it about this model, but I think I'm getting too critical. I need to let you decide what you think is good and just present the news to you as they happen, show you how the stuff works. You can decide for yourself if you want to use it or not. And also a little heads up, I want to go more into platforms online because there are so many users who can't run the newer model. So today I'm going to show you both how to use in ConfUI and then also how to run it online. Let's get started. So for everybody who wants to run this online, you can do so on replicate.com. And here, as you can see, you have an interface where everything is already set up for you. You just enter everything you want to have here for the settings. And you can see here it is fairly cheap. This video has, in this case, 97 frames you can go up to 256 frames but 97 frames if you want to render that you can see here it costs 1.4 cents so you can run 71 videos for one dollar without having to install anything and here you can also as you can see upload an image file to use that as an input now i want to say here this has a little bit of a caveat because it doesn't have all of the settings. One of the settings that is missing here is CRF. And this is some kind of video or image compression that is needed to give you enough action, enough movement in that video model with the generation. So this is kind of like a little problem right now with how it is trained, but you can do that in ConfUI. So here we have the blog post from ConfUI. You can see it's from the 22nd November. I just wasn't sure I want to show this because it's a little bit, like I said, experimental right now. But when you scroll down on this page, it's giving you a lot of information on how to set everything up in what folders you need to put this. So it's really great work that Comfy.org is doing here by explaining the installation process. They even give you example workflows here. So all of that is very nice. These are not the most efficient workflows, but they are workflows that get you started and that is already pretty good. So for all of the installation here, you can just follow these descriptions. And one thing I want to point out here is when it says clone down here, it means you go to this folder inside of the ConfUI folder. Up in the address bar, you type CMD and hit enter. This is going to open up the command window. And in there, you type git clone. You go to this web address in that case. You open this up and you copy and select everything from the address bar that is before the question mark and put that behind the git clone, hit enter, let it finish, and then restart ConfUI. You also need the custom nodes for LTX video. Now here again is the description of the installation. So you go to the folder custom notes and then you again open up with the address bar cmd hit enter and then you git clone this web address everything before the question mark hit enter let it finish 
Once you are in ConfUI, it is fairly important that you go down here to the manager, you hit enter and you click here on update all so that you get everything in the newest version with the notes and also with ConfUI so that actually everything is supported for you. But also what I want to point out here is when this is using that model, it can come up here as a error that this is not selected. So you want to click on this and simply select that by hand. You see here it's model one of two. So click on that one. And after that, everything should be loaded for you. As you can see, this is the text to video workflow that is from the ConfUI block. It is very easy to follow, has a very easy build here of all the different nodes where it loads the model, it loads the clip model. You have here the setup for the size and the batch, the frame number, the prompt down here. Over here, you have your video combine that I actually dragged over here. So it is usually over here, but I would kind of suggest to you to put it here next to that and then zoom in so that you can change the prompt because you need to experiment a lot to get a nice result. Some things I would suggest to you to try first is, for example, that you have a beach with some waves coming in, some like bread and butter prompts that are pretty easy to do, and then you will get some nice results from the get-go and then experiment more with that. The model needs a fairly good description of the scene. I can suggest to you to help with ChatGPT to get a better description of that. And then also someone created a custom GPT that can help you with creating these prompts. But sadly, with the custom GPTs on ChatGPT, you need to have a pro subscription to use them. I think you can use them a couple of times per day when you're kind of like in this demo mode for the pro version. And then afterwards, you like have to have a subscription. I want to highly suggest to you to join the Bonodoko Discord. There is a specific group channel in here for LTX video. There are very active and very helpful members in here one of the members has created this description here for image to video, which gives you great results. And when you scroll down a little bit, this is the workflow I'm showing you today. So this is also where you get it from. Join the Discord and I will link this specific post and you can download the workflow from here. And also down here, it has the GitHub Light Tricks notes also. This is what that workflow looks like. And there are some specific things I want to talk to you about. First of all, you see here these brown boxes, pretty important. You want to zoom in here. You can see who created this. So in this case, it's from Avatarium. And he also has over here on the right side a description for all of the necessary models you want to use with that so that you have all of that information. But there's also some very important information over here. So here you can load the image you want to use and this is then going to be resized. This is kind of like a preferred size to get good results, but you can also experiment with other sizes. Now this is compressed basically in a different kind of format that works better with the model. This is the CRF value. So here you have the video combine where this single image is running through. Not a video, just an image, you want to open this up. And in here you have these kind of values. First of all, the compression format for H264, leave that as it is. And then down here you have the CRF value. Now here you can experiment, I would say between, for example, 20 and 30 for this. And this kind of like gives a subtle different compression of the image but works much better, gives you more motion. If you set the value higher, it gives you more motion, but the image looks very compressed and the result also looks very compressed. So that's not ideal, to be honest. Then in the second box down here, you have a Florence to run. This will automatically create a prompt from the image for you. And that is very 
very useful, but sometimes there is like little mistakes in the prompt you might want to change. So in this case, for example, it talks about a waterfall, even though there are waves on the seaside. So I copied this text down here into the text box and I changed this to sea with high waves. But what you need to do for this to run is rather than combining the caption to this point over here, set text P, you want to connect the string to this set text P. Very easy to do. And then you have your custom prompt you can run. After that, we have down here the actual area for the generation. And here, one thing that is important is the random noise. This is set to fixed, leave it at fixed, but you want to change the seats to give you different noise because this model at the moment is very dependent on specific seats, but you have to test for them to see what works best. Also in here, you have the amount of frames, the amount of steps and the CFG value to be used with that. You can also, of course, set that up to your taste. Like I said, the frame number can go higher and maybe then create also more motion with that. And here on the right side, you have the output, as you can see in this case, because this is kind of like a bread and butter situation of the waves. This is one of the easiest things you can do with video models. That works pretty good. The woman is also swaying a little bit with the wave. So this result is actually pretty cool for an image to video animation. Personally, I would suggest to you to have this note for the image loading down here so that you can zoom in and basically have everything in reach, see the results, see the loading, see the prompts, and then you have an easier time to switch things around. Thanks for watching, my friends. Like I said, this model is pretty early, but it's very interesting to test out. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. Bye.